Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I was working on this little diagram hog pen for a customer yesterday for myself, and I thought I'd share how I did it. I took a basically a, a hog clip art that was a pretty nice one already, and I bit mapped it and traced it, and and then put an outline on it. And there's plenty of videos out there how to do that. I would always suggest to go ahead and clean up. Your nodes, especially I'm doing this for a plasma cutter, but even as a laser engraver, you've got some straight lines here. So if you use, if you have Corel X8 or above, you've got the uh, shape tool or the smoothing tool, and that will clean this up quite quickly. Just click on your item and go through and, and round those off. And the bigger your uh, item or your bigger your uh, nib size is the more it's going to do it but also you could actually get into some other areas like this circle and you could start affecting it and you might not want that just like on this circle see how it does that anyway I would suggest you do that but to put this hog pin into here so you've got this bit mapped and traced and outlined. Uh, I would go to effects and contour. I want a one inch contour around this hog. And there you go. Then you need to go to arrange, break contour group apart. Click on your contour group. Take your shape tool and you'll see all these extra nodes. You don't want this stuff at the bottom. This is pretty easy to get rid of. I would just select the, all these bottom nodes and hit delete on your keyboard. Now select these nodes and right click and turn those into a line. So we're going to do the same thing here. Delete. Take just all these nodes. Right click. Turn them into a line. Now I would go back and smooth this out uh, if you don't have uh, X8 or above, you can do it just by taking nodes and because you wouldn't really want this flat surface, you'd want a little bit of a curve to it. So, real quickly, you could click on there and turn those into a curve, and then you could see the handles and you could make whoop, I got an extra node there. Take this and just you could see the handles, you can make a little bit of a curve to his belly, delete those that are kind of a jagged. But for the video, I'm not going to do that. Then, what I would suggest, and you don't have to do this for his head, is take two points, a two-point line, and make you two lines. Then, take your Smart Fill tool and fill that in. That's going to be your area of your envelope tool for your wording. Then, I'm going to left-click. And you might have to left-click, right-click, because the fact that when I use my Smart Fill tool, I have it on hairline, red hairline, so it's going to automatically make a hairline. Then let's get, get, get rid of the contour tool and let's open up the envelope tool. And I would also smooth out these nodes. I'm doing this for a plasma cutter, so it needs to be a little uh, better. Matter of fact, this corner right here is going to give me a little bit of a problem. So let's select these nodes and just do this and turn this back in and maybe even delete that node. Okay, then I would take my words, my text, and make it more the length of your envelope. Then just move it out of the way. And right here, I would go to vertical and it doesn't really matter which one. I'm going to pick single arc. I'm going to click on create an envelope form. I see that arrow and I'm going to put it in there. Sometimes it works better than that, but that is acceptable. And we might even try, try this first. Let's go control D and make a duplicate of that. See if this helps or we're going to convert this to a curve. Let's see if that helps us. And it didn't really. So that's a step not necessarily have to do. So let's just take this one. Make sure you're on vertical. 
single heart, create an envelope of this shape. Now you can see our H and our N are messed up, but that's not too hard to fix. Now let's convert them to a curve. Let's go up here and left click, right click. Let's get rid of our docker. And all you have to do to finish that part of the H would be to take your shape tool because it's a curve and get about that far off and double click and make a node. It was that quick. Double click, make a node. Now you've got your word. Now go back to your pig. Let's get a little closer here. Let's get rid of these lines, but we want our contour. We don't need those lines anymore. And let's put our hog pin about where we want it. Then just use your imagination here and take your shape tool and grab those two nodes and just bring them down. Grab those two nodes and bring them down. I'm going to grab, let's zoom in here a little bit. I'm going to grab all three of these nodes so it kind of brings the circle down. Grab those three nodes and bring them down. Grab those two and bring them down. Grab, you could actually probably grab all four of these at one time and bring them down. And then right here, bring them down. Do the same thing on the top. When you have this slope, I probably wouldn't do more than one. But And you could hold down the control button and make it go parallel, but it doesn't really matter. Now on the top of the P, I'm going to grab three. So my P kind of continues. And while I'm here, I would probably do this. I would make the inside of my P a little more prominent. Grab those three nodes and put it here. Grab these three nodes and just kind of move them up. Same thing with the O. You know, elongate the O a little bit. You could actually nudge them over a little bit while you've got them selected. So everything else is done. Now, there's two ways you could do this. You could use the virtual segment delete key and just delete this line. Or, let's just back up here. You've got it selected. Let's just select it with the pick tool. Hold down the shift key and select your outline. And go right here to back minus front. And it took away all your nodes. And I would definitely, if you're doing this, especially for a plasma cutter, you're going to need to get rid of these nodes. So there's many ways you could do that. Just Let's just select them all and hit delete. And maybe delete some more and delete some more. And then just take this curve and definitely delete that one. All depends. It's just personal preference on how you think it looks good. I think that looks pretty cool. But you would need this... For a laser cutter, this will work fine. It's already done. Project complete. On a plasma cutter, you need to take away some of those nodes. And that's very easily done with your shape tool. Or if you have the smoothing tool, it could be done very quickly. And, and probably better than you do it with hand. So just grab that and see how I got rid of those nodes. Now, a lot of times... The shape tool works a little better. Just get rid of that node. Just get rid of that node. Get rid of that node. You see, we kind of moved in a little bit, but we could take our handle and put it right back. Plasma cutting, you want the least amount of nodes you can get. You definitely don't need these in the middle. And just if you haven't watched a video on plasma cutting, nodes are not good in plasma cutting because of the fact that uh, the, the cutter goes from node to node. Like this, definitely to get rid of these, because you don't need that. And then just get rid of those. And, there, you know, you could go around here and get rid of all your nodes. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.